Hi, my name is Patrick Hall and I'm a third year civil engineering technologist student at Algonquin College. I'm uh, Alex DeKlein, I go to Algonquin College, I'm in the third year civil engineering technology program. My name is Emily Hoekstra, I'm a third year civil engineering technology student at Algonquin College. Hello, I'm Craig Schooley, uh, I'm a third year civil engineering technology student at Algonquin College. Uh, for our applied research project, we are testing the new fractal tectonic paver. Um, the concrete versus uh, asphalt, uh, which is what the fractals are made out of, is concrete. Um, you're using a lot of less um, oil, um, a lot less contaminants and chemicals for for the setup. Um, so it just it helps with the environment. Uh, they're reusable. So if you have uh, an issue with, say, like a water line or anything, you could replace. You could take them out and replace them. Whereas with the asphalt, um, if you tear up the asphalt, um, it either goes to a landfill or if you try and reuse most of it. They're not gonna. They're not gonna deteriorate quite as much as asphalt. They're not gonna. They will allow for some movement, which asphalt any movement will will uh, cause some cracking, cause potholes, and eventually just. Uh, kind of be damaging to, to the road in general. Fractals compared to asphalt, they're concrete. Concrete typically lasts longer and is more durable than asphalt because asphalt deteriorates pretty quickly with um, heavy traffic. It's used all over Europe and in here in Canada we have the, the unique Canadian free, freeze thaw cycle which damages asphalt roads and uh, it really creates lots of potholes and heaves up Lots of asphalt. If you have like a small inconsistency with the soil you're using when you're packing in under the asphalt. So the process of creating a fractal, um, our client Jose, he uh, um, created a mold, um, brought the mold to us. Um, essentially what the mold is, is uh, just a silicone base. Um, we pour, pour concrete into the mold um, that is in the shape of a fractal and uh, after 24 hours of curing we take the, the concrete out of the mold, um, which is turns into our fractal, and um, that's basically the process. We just mix the concrete, pour it into the mold, and release it roughly around 24 hours after, so it, it's fully cured before we handle it. The idea behind using the fractals, um, as far as the environment goes, is it's during heavy precipitation, it's supposed to contain the runoff instead of letting it run off through the sewer system which will overflow into the river and untreated water goes into the river. The water is supposed to flow through the joints in the pavers and then through the system and end up in the large stone base reservoir where it should sit until it absorbs into the ground. The pavers are unique so that's why we have to look at how the water will th flow through them and the strength of them and all that kind of stuff but it's just Cool to see like something brand new. You never, you never really see the type of uh, of pavers that Jose's kind of uh, vision. It's uh, it's got a really, really unique design where where they lock into each other really nicely. It's a, uh, it's a different shape. People tend to like different. So if this thing uh, goes on the market, I think that people really, some people might really take to it. It's got sort of a modern look to it, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, it's my experience with working uh, with fractals uh, with Jose and fractal tectonics. Um, it's, it's been a really great experience, it's been positive. It's, it's been exciting to see see the outcome of, of our research and, and what uh, what can be achieved uh, with new technology. And, and um, it's, it's been fun to, to see um, the beginnings of a new product for the market. They will, they will last a lot longer than asphalt. Uh, asphalt deteriorates quite quickly when dealing with like the Canadian freeze-thaw cycle, uh, the de-icing agents, everything. Uh, the smallest, smallest imperfection in asphalt can can grow very quickly. In the long run, they they will break even for asphalt or possibly even surpass, depending on the strength of the concrete, the way the system is implemented. Uh, the thing about asphalt is it has to get redone fairly often, right? So they uh, they will slowly lose money. It's cheaper to install, but uh, fractals will hopefully last way longer through a couple lifetimes of asphalt.